<clears throat> and I have to admit, today I'm feeling not that good. It's a sad day. Made some ice cream. Want to make it with melon, but this melon was pricey because the season is coming to an end and this melon is not even good. That means that's probably one of my last melons. So I have to find another combination for an ice cream. Fruit Kingdom, what do you offer? How about crepes? Because crepes are great. If you have a good ice cream combi, then let me know. Because I love to enjoy my ice cream with soy crisp, hemp seeds, other toppings, but also some fruits. Well, an ice cream is fruits, but I want more fruits. I'm addicted, I love fruits and it's a healthy addiction. Fruits are actually the healthiest thing we could eat according to the global burden of disease study, which was, by the way, the biggest study ever conducted by Bill Gates for dietary risk factors. And the number one dietary cause for mortality and disease is not eating enough fruit. So eat your fruits. But the good kind of fruits, not bad melon. <laughs> What should I top my ice cream with when there's no melon in season? Let me know. Kale? Nah. Ta-da! Here is my ice cream and an interesting experiment. Scorpion and I, we started today and that we will speak the entire week only French. Mon dieu! I mean only Spanish. Como te llamas? Mi amo Tania, soy de Alemania. I don't, I, I don't even remember what como te llamas uh, means. What's your name? What's your name? Okay, I just have these Spanish phrases in my head. I learned in school. No, we speak the entire week only English as an experiment because at home we speak German because we're both German and it makes sense and off camera we speak German but you know we're both so eager to improve our English and what we need is more speaking English not just to a camera but to another person and I know it's kind of weird if we're both German and speak English but our English is really good so let's see if it gets weird. What do you think? Maybe a bit. It's always weird to switch language with when I speak German with my dad, it's just like so weird. <laughs> but I think after a day, it might be normal. I don't know, I keep you up to date. And ta -da! I got three mosquito nets because I want to put more mosquito nets in so I'm able to open more windows without anything flying in. Mosquitoes, other animals or dirt. And to put them on, it's a hassle, but here is a rant about doing day-to-day -day stuff. Just if it's not urgent, if you don't have a deadline, do them baby steps. I will just, today the goal is just to mount on one and, and that's it. And then on another day, another one, another one. So I can enjoy it because if I do the baby steps, I enjoy it because life always comes with tasks to you, you might not like. And if you see them as a burden, or oh, I have to do all of that now, you don't like it, but that's life and it will always come to you. But if you do it in, in baby steps and see it as a challenge and just do it step by step, you actually enjoy it and that's what it's all about. Enjoying the way because that is life. Always there are things coming, challenges I call it, and I do the best I can to enjoy them because that is just life. So don't burn yourself out by doing so much you don't like, do it in baby steps. For example, I know reading is really important, but I don't like to read for a long time. That's why I read every day at least 20 minutes. And because I have this habit, I enjoy it. And overall it accumulates and over the year I read so many books. So doing something consistently in baby steps just accumulate greatly and you can enjoy the way. And that's what it's all about. I'm gonna enjoy my nice cream now. Hello you beauty, how are you doing today? Get into my belly. Scope you mind you made this cake and I'm yeah, enjoying a piece. Because it still tastes good. It's a bit old. Because I have to eat it right. Because you're not gonna eat it, so I just do your favor. Together with some applesauce. Applesauce and pecan butter. Ooh, have you tried the pecan butter yet? Mm -hmm. Crazy good, good, right? Yeah. They also have macadamia butter. Do they? Uh -huh. Oh wow, I will try that next time. So, Coco Drogerie, 5% with vegans 5. Unfortunately, they're not yet in the US, but they're in so many European countries. Do you think they will come to the US eventually? I think they want to. Ooh. Okay, wait, is it approved? Is that approved? 
She would, but she's a good taught girl, so she sh no, it's not for her. Unless I say, oh, bye. Bye. Oh no. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Kiwi. That was rude. Just starting to add stars to my map of all the vegan and vegan friendly restaurants in town. Because remember in this video, I think Patrick was his name, he did that and his map was out of control with vegan stars. Saved all the vegan hotspots here in Berlin. <laughs> this city is too vegan friendly. And I want to do the same. So when I'm somewhere and hmm, what is close, or if I do a full day of eating out, what is around, or if someone asks me, hey, do you know any good place to eat here around? And I'm like, sure, let me pull up my phone. Let me pull up my phone. Maybe lock the door and turn the lights down low. Oh. So far, what I got this area in Friedrichsheim seems really vegan friendly, and this one here in Prenzlauer Berg. Also super vegan friendly, but there's so many more I just started with a couple and my list is long for all the vegan restaurants I want to check out with you for my full day of eating out videos I do the next one this Sunday and I'm planning it right now So stay tuned and maybe I do one eating out only vegan chunk food where I eat the vegan dinner vegan donuts vegan all the chunk food I'm not sure let me know if you want that <laughs> would you be down for a vegan chunk food eating out day? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah so tell the people what just happened. Q was just really crazy and playing. Yeah. And I was like, come here. And then she was just jumping up here. She just <laughs> jumped up there <laughs> like a... Her... she is. And it was no problem at all. Yeah, like a oh my God. freaking beast. Like a bland based athlete. She just Q. jumped up there and that is really high. It is so high. That vegan savage power is real. So should we try <laughs> to do it again? No, I that. think it was just because she wasn't thinking. Up, up, up. See, now she's thinking. Come here, Nanosha. No, up. Oh. <laughs> no, I think that was just because she was not thinking. Yeah, I think when she thinks, she, she fails and she prefers yeah, she herself. Was, like, she was just running and she was like, whoop, up here. Crazy! Crazy, guys. Kiwi, but as long as it's not on YouTube or Instagram, it didn't happen, I'm sorry. That's how it is nowadays. If it didn't happen on YouTube, Instagram or any social media platform, just didn't happen. Dear Porridge, I do love you so much, especially when you're creamy like that. Shout out to my friend Nico Rittenau. His book came out yesterday, so if you speak German, Vegan Cliché AD, and it's also coming soon in English, so stay tuned and get your merch at vegansavage.com. It is time to make this window mosquito proof. And if you wonder why do I sweat like that, because I just played this Ball up says dog and she's just crazy and it went out of control. If you need instructions for anything, YouTube is your place. Uh, you're currently on YouTube, so you picked the right spot. The moment you've been waiting for. Mosquitoes, I'm sorry, but you cannot enter. And what I recommend that you assemble it from the inside so you can really put pressure on on each side because I cannot fly out the window and attach it from the other side. So just put it on the inside and it works like a charm. Can you spot what shirt I'm wearing? V. Visiting my friend Nico Ritter now because his book came out yesterday and of course I want my own copy not just for me also one for my mother and I also got a package for him because fact he was the person who lived there where I live now before I lived there and still many packages arrive and he moved whoa what is this place that looks fancy And congratulations, you're officially an author now. Yes, sir. How does it feel? Awesome. Can I see your books? Of course. How many do you have? Uh, 500. 500? Yes. But they are all in the cellar, so we only have a back up here. Oh, wow. Let's do this. A little too much color in the face, but... So, for all my German, Switzer, Austrian fans out there, go get it. And when will it come out in English? Uh, hopefully next year. Next year? Yes, sir. <sighs> this is a gem amongst the bland based books. Feeling proud? Yes, 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 yes. So, I heard you sign one for my mother. Of course. And write something nice? Of course. Ooh. Oh, wow, look at this pantry. 
he got the staples, all the good stuff, and the jam of the apartment, always the kitchen. And I will finish this meal together with some pasta. Scorpio might make this zucchini cake bread something. And maybe as a dessert one piece of this zucchini bread. <clears throat> and I have to admit today I'm feeling not that good. I'm a bit sick and hopefully I feel good tomorrow because I want to go to the gym. If I cannot train that would literally break my heart. <laughs> but I'm really optimistic. My recovery is on point. And today this vlog was all over the place. I just wanted to take it as a challenge to make a rainy day where I'm feeling sick and stay mostly at home entertaining and I think I did put some value in there I hope you enjoyed it and that just proves me I can vlog no matter which day it is and no matter if it's the least exciting day ever and that just gives me confidence that I can daily vlog whenever I want to Oh Kiwi, many people think oh my life has to be so exciting and if it's not then I cannot do vlogs and videos No, you just have to be authentic, real, funny are you, are you the choker? <laughs> so thumbs up and subscribe for those sick vlogs. Literally <clears throat> sick. You know I'm, I'm sick. That kind of sick. I will eat now. Take it easy. And I see you in my next video when I'm... Da -da 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 -da. The vegan energy is fully charged up. And maybe I'm already digging into his book. One is for Scorpio Mind, one for my mother, and one for me. And he even made some nice notes. Looks like Scorpio Mind got some new dishes. So that is the vlog. Thanks for watching. Until next time, make those pasta gains, but whole grain, please. Out. Hmm. Mm hmm.